in uh, their own tournament, so to speak. The UNO privateers have come on strong after a rough early season road trip. Last night, a lot of fortitude and a little good fortune helped them pass Pittsburgh of the Big East for the USF&G Sugar Bowl basketball title. Playing most of the second half without star center Irvin Johnson, who fouled out, it was UNO's guards who took over. Luigi Dyer and Dwight Myvet played turnover-free ball and picked up the scoring slack for the privateers, who trailed by a dozen midway through the second half. But it was Leonard Bennett, the third guard, who provided most of the heroics with a three-point shot at the end of regulation to send the game into overtime. The shot was called a buzzer beater, but did it beat the buzzer? You make the call. I'd like to see it on the film. I thought it was questionable, too. I don't think either officials knew, uh, but uh, one official thought he had it, so maybe he did. Oh, automatic, wasn't it? I mean, it was definitely inside. Sure it was, wasn't it? <laughs> Whether it was or not, Floyd and the privateers weren't about to waste their good fortune. In the overtime, Melvin Simon provided all five privateer points, including a huge three-point play. Then UNO watched as a Panther shot at the end of OT went awry. We're getting the streak going, it, going into Arizona. We have another game tomorrow, which we can't overlook. But we just wanted to uh, get a streak going since we came off that uh, long road trip, bad road trip for us, and uh, keep that streak going. And be beating a good team like Pittsburgh is going to help us uh, for the NC2A tournament. The win by the Privateers was the first Sugar Bowl title ever for a New Orleans school. The Privateers host Brown of the Ivy League tonight out on the lakefront.